Watch you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can fix the grayed out issue when you try to change the resolution on your screen now we're on a windows 10 machine here and uh, if we take a look by right clicking and then going on to the display settings when you open up the little panel here and pull down you should see advanced display settings we're going to click on this and you can see here uh, the display settings are grayed out and they're fixed to whatever they're set to here now we want to expand this and we want to make it bigger because this is too small so I'm going to show you a way how you can resolve this issue and fix it so first off let's take a look at the display adapter properties now depending on what machine you're running this is a virtual machine uh, VMware machine but yours may be having a graphics driver here either Nvidia or AMD or something along them lines and uh, you can have a look at the details here when we click on properties when you click on properties it gives you more information and you may have the devices not working properly here in my case device is working properly but it's still grayed out so what you're going to have to do is you can take a look at the driver area now you want to make sure that you've got the latest drivers so you may want to reinstall your your uh, graphics driver here now what you can do is click on update driver and then if you've got a driver available to yourself you can browse your computer for this but we're just going to scan online for software for this machine okay so it's now saying that the windows has determined that the driver software for your device is up to date and it's working correctly now again what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to remove this driver and then i'm going to reboot the system and then we're going to put a new driver on it's going to restart the system okay so now we've got back to the desktop and uh, what you want to do right click on the desktop there and hit display settings come down to where it says advanced display settings again and you can see now the feature is now back enabled and uh, now you can see we can go all the way up to our desired screen resolution and we can just pick this one and as you can see now we've got 1920 by 1080 and that's because we reinstalled the graphics driver but if yours doesn't then you're going to have to download a driver you're going to have to go to on the internet and put in there nvidia and you can download all your drivers from here as you can see and if you've got nvidia you just need to type in nvidia you can see it there so we're just gonna click on this and you can see the download drivers tab here just to click on this and then you can choose what card you have got in your system i.e. whether it's GeForce and what version of card you've got whether it's a 900, a 600, 500 and so on whether it's one of these and you select all these and you select your operating system and then you hit search and what that's going to do is give you the option to download that driver for your machine like this and once you've got that you can install that driver and it should be good now what happens is the driver becomes corrupt um, or something of that nature and you need to remove it and then put a new driver on or maybe update a driver 
or maybe just uh, sometimes uninstall reboot the system and it will uh, recollaborate itself. Now you can also get to the graphics driver from device manager as well and all you need to do is right click on the start button and go to device manager and you'll see your display driver here now remember yours is going to be different to mine um, yours will be uh, Nvidia or AMD and it will be a different type of card that you're using uh, but you can update your driver from here you can uninstall it you can scan for uh, hardware changes just to see whether it jars something and makes that work okay and then reboot the system and if this doesn't work uh, I'll be surprised but normally uninstall the driver put the new driver back on reboot the system and you should be good to go it's a real simple fix anyway so I'm going to wrap this one up I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos if you've got any video requests or anything like that or just want to join the community then head over to the forums we've got a team speak running now as well uh, if you've got problems or you're a PC repair tech and you just want to chat or also if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page then page then head over to there and give us a little like up over there it doesn't cost you anything anyway thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support Bye. <laughs>